adventurers. So we are currently in the parking lot of McDonald's. We are trying to find some diabetes and keto friendly foods, low carbs, low sugar, um, because a lot of you already know Lisa's been dealing with this diabetes diagnosis and it, I gotta be honest, it was definitely a shock. <laughs> it was definitely a shock, but you know what? We're adjusting, we're gonna continue to, you know, we, we love eating out. I mean, it's just like one of our things. That's one thing that we really enjoy doing. So, you know, there's no reason that you can't modify what you're eating, even if you're eating out. There are plenty of restaurants that have I mean, really, anywhere you go, except for like maybe Pizza Hut or something like that, you can get um, carb-free or low-carb or you know low-sugar foods. So even even fast food. So we're going to show you guys. We're going to take you with us most everywhere that we eat, and we're going to show you the the options because a lot of you have reached out to us and said that you also or someone close to you has diabetes as well. So you know we want to show you what we got today. We're actually gonna share this. At McDonald's, you can get a hamburger or a quarter pounder with no bread. And uh, for diabetes, you should get no cheese. You can actually get any sandwich, but the problem is with the fish or chicken, they have a lot of breading, which, yeah. is, which is gonna make your sugar uh, index go way up. So probably the hamburger is the best option um, as far as that goes. Now they do have a grilled chicken option, I believe. Um, but I do know it contains a lot of different seasonings like MSGs and stuff like uh, that. Right. So that's an issue for Lisa. So here's what it looks like. So we're going to show you. Now listen, we actually did ask for no cheese. And then and the ketchup is... And I'm not going to eat the ketchup. We didn't. Yeah, I'll eat the ketchup. It's fine. Um, we did ask for no cheese. They did put the cheese. But however, you can get... Ask for your burger with just extra lettuce. And uh, we did get some pickles because I love pickles. And we asked for plasticware, which you usually don't get with your burger. Yeah, we were gonna. Our smart idea was that we were gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, we were hoping they would serve it in the box because then I could just rip the box in half and we would All each right. have like a little plate. But they made a. But they made a platter out of it, so. Stuck together, cheese. So. <laughs> just gonna get the cheese. So that's a little bit annoying, but. Maybe next time. Um. There we go. It's in the light now. So that's what we got. I mean, it almost it almost looks like a salad, you know, with a little bit of meat on it. So, Lise, how did you enjoy your meal? I enjoyed my meal. It was good. I didn't miss the roll at all. And I didn't either, actually. The only thing is they did put cheese on it, which makes it more salty. I mean, we, we scraped it off, though, yeah. of yours, so. But, um, yeah, I would, you know, I'm full. I'm full too. I, I, like that was very satisfying. The only problem is we ordered a unsweetened tea for me because, of course, sweet tea is sugar. And they ended up giving us two uh, sweet tea, and Jen got a half and half. The half and half is still pretty sweet, it but is. It's I'm trying to wean so. myself off of it, guys. I love sweet tea. It's like my guilty pleasure. And so if you look over here, the line is like atrocious. So I'm gonna say, yeah. I don't want to give up on the tea for now. <laughs> so. The problem with this McDonald's is they don't have the third window for all the mess ups. <laughs> where you're like, and they do need one. They definitely need one.
the Withalacoochee River that we're on. The name is Seminole. It means little big water, water that comes and goes. She's 141 miles long, starts in northeastern Polk County and flows to the Gulf of Mexico. Pretty shallow. This area will average about a foot to three feet. Check it out, guys. We have our first gator sighting back there on the log. Actually, if that was a female, that could be close to about 15, even 20 years old alligator. Really? Oh, yeah. Females do not grow very fast. Male? Eh, male would probably be around a 10-year-old. Wow. wow. Got a couple turtles here hanging out on the log, too. for raptor mama okay everybody that just subscribed to dean go ahead and unsubscribe easy <laughs> come easy go oh there it is there's that smile <laughs> Okay guys, so we are out at Outback currently and we are looking at the menu right now to see what kind of diabetic friendly foods they have. 
Um, mostly looking for low carb, low sugar stuff. But they have some good options. So we're gonna show you guys the menu. And of course we're gonna show you as the food comes out. And we're gonna let you know how it is. Tell them what we ordered for our beverage. So we are on to a seltzer water with lime. Um, which is really good. It is really good. Because you have carbonation and... It's basically like a sparkling water. Saturating, right. But lime adds a nice flavor to it, so it doesn't just taste like bubbly water. But you know, sometimes your body craves that carbonation. So... I think it helps with, um, when you're eating, I, I just... Versus plain water. Yeah. Blah. It's more satisfying. <laughs> yes. I don't know, just you feel better. And it's zero calories, mm -hmm. zero carbs, zero sugar. Zero, zero, zero. I like that. So I don't know exactly what I'm gonna get, but I have a feeling it's probably gonna be in the steak section. Um, I normally get, when I come here, uh, the Outback Center Cut Sirloin. I'm thinking maybe the six ounce. I might go with that. Uh, now I just need to decide on my sides. Probably gonna go for a salad. Their salads are really good here. Although it does have cheddar cheese and it does have really good croutons, so I might forego the croutons, but I'm probably gonna get the cheddar cheese. And I, I usually like the French dressing, but probably the blue cheese would be better for me. Or they have like a tangy tomato, actually. It's good, it's not as sweet as French. Maybe I'll get that. It's like a spicy tomato dressing. These guys are so good, but I have a feeling they're not diabetes friendly because they are, <laughs> they're the best ribs I've ever had in my life. We had them before, um, but they're actually deep fried. And of course they have barbecue sauce and then some kind of a, this is the sauce that they normally have on the blooming onion, which is really good. But oh my gosh, that onion is so like heavy. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. It's probably okay if you have like 10 people at the table with you to share it. I'm gonna look very good. And one with a shrimp and one, this would probably be better for somebody like me, perfectly good salmon. Yeah. And you get it without, I would have the sauce, or I probably wouldn't even, even eat the sauce. The vegetables look really good and fresh. This looks good, the Alice Springs chicken. Comes with mushrooms, which I love. Lisa and loves her mushrooms. Cheddar is good. Of course, the sauce on the side. Yeah. But I'm going to ask about that to see what, you know, if it's seasoned or not either. Because sometimes chicken is seasoned, but if it's grilled, you have a better chance than if it's, um, it has a coating. For sure. And we have just been served. This is the Alice Springs chicken. So there's no, looks like just the grilling. There's no extra seasoning on the chicken, which I specifically asked for. And then normally this all, these come on the chicken, but they put it on the side for me. Awesome. And the bacon as well. So you can pick and choose. So this is all very carb healthy, right? Yes. And the potato is the sweet potato. This is just butter. And then I also requested, instead of sugar, brown sugar, which is traditionally on your sweet potato, this is honey. I had this the other day in another restaurant. It was so good. Now, just a little tidbit of information for other diabetics out there. I actually was reading that um, under, I think it was 45 grams of honey per day, actually is good for your glycemic index. Oh, great. Actually helps you. Yeah. So over time, like a over time, I believe, yeah, but they suggest that you consume up to 45, I think it was grams hmm. per day of, of honey. Wow. So I, I think I might start doing that too because I noticed, like, I've been having severe allergies this week. I noticed that when I had some honey the other night, wow. Lisa was so nice, she went, got me some honey um, and I took it, I woke up in the morning, I felt so much better because my throat had been like scratchy. I think it's antibacterial as well. It is antibacterial as well, yes. It's the mixed veggie. Yes, it is. Broccoli, yellow squash, carrots. Delicioso. Pretty healthy. Well, enjoy that. Thank you. You're very, you're very diabetic friendly deliciousness. And over here, 
Over here, guys, I have my eight ounce sirloin. I, I got mine with no seasoning as well. Also got a sweet potato and I'm gonna try the honey. So let's go ahead and, and pour a little honey on there. Ooh, that looks so good. And I did have a salad as well. So I already ate my salad, forgot to film it. I was so hungry. So guys, we're back with our favorite hippo ever, Big Lou. What's up, Lou? Uh, 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 uh. What you doing, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. How you doing? That's my buddy.